I love this country. You know, I was born and raised here. Um, I love the people here, but just to see that systemic injustice still goes on every day, um, it really hurt me. And I, when I heard about you know the uh, systemic killings of really African Americans in my country, uh, I felt like uh, I had to do something about it. Um, during my third or fourth uh, protest I went to, I saw this kid named Isaiah in the front. He was holding up a sign and he was really just screaming his heart out. Um, you know, stop killing us. Uh, you know, we need, uh, we need justice, you know, screaming justice. Um, it really, really struck a chord with me. Um, you know, he's only two years older than me. You know, I could have gone to the same high school as him, um, but just to see him in that much, uh, that much passion uh, really, really struck me. Uh, and I knew that I had to do something about it. If I don't speak, then who will? I personally just want everybody to have clean water because everyone that knows only Flint got out of bad water crisis. No, there's a whole, America has a water crisis. It's like, it's, you would you wouldn't think that every state has bad water, but in reality, every state does have bad water. I'm actually spreading real news and awareness to help people so they don't end up dying. It would be irresponsible of us to not use our voices, to not use our platform, to show up when people are being murdered in the street for the color of their skin, you know, to show up when millions of people in concentration camps by oppressive governments, you know, to show up for trans folks who continue to be attacked for simply existing. It's not a choice to care. We've been forced to care because the systems and people before us have let us down. Um, there's still a lot I don't know about the subject. Um, but what I do know is that uh, systems uh, can definitely be corrupt. Yes, there are uh, a lot of people don't know about what happened in Syria. So I uh, shared my idea to see that. To show and decide show the people this the show the people uh, this situation and this is what happened in Syria and the difficult situation and and the bombing and everything happens here. It's my job just I want to share my idea and see the, and show the world the difficult situation in, in Syria and Idlib now. Uh, like the children is uh, the situation in children is difficult. So it was terrible, but we should uh, And we need to find a solution for this, uh, like for this uh, problem, what is happening also. Our generation is a generation of activists and uh, you know, we really care about the future. We understand that uh, social media and our digital devices are so powerful and that we could do more than just, just simply march. Um, I think it's easier now than ever before to become an activist. Like, uh, for example, the person that filmed uh, George Floyd's murder was a 17-year-old girl uh, with a smartphone uh, and, and, a, and a Facebook account. So, so I think we understand that we can definitely make change uh, through social media. And we're basically, we're just, uh, yeah, we're making the best of what we have. With the click of a button, we can start a movement, right? The barrier to entry, you know, is so much lower in terms of the fact that any of us can have a voice and speak up and take action. I think we're looking at a world where there is so much injustice and brutality and unfairness and bias and we're saying, damn it, eh? we can't just let this keep going. Dad, I will say one or two eradicate from our society what he called well, the triple evils of poverty, racism, and he said militarism. The tragedy is that, you know, 52 years later, we're still working to eradicate those triple evils. I think people are gonna continue to push for us to make progress, positive progress. And I think barriers are gonna be knocked down that um, have existed for a long, long time. And it's largely gonna be because young people are pushing, we will, we must do better. And I think that's the kind of spirit that young people come to the table with, that you know, we, we, we wanna create a world where opportunity exists for all humankind. And, um, I just think that there are now a number of young people who personify that, that spirit. It really is about love. Love is, is the personification that perhaps can bring us all together and can also create victories. I mean, that's the spirit that my mother and father did their work in, in the spirit of love. These are concepts that are, are timely, and we need to think about and execute them now so that generations yet unborn uh, don't have to resolve these issues. Gen Z is a generation of we, because those are the millennials fought a lot of battles for us. Right? They said, I can be whoever I want to be. And we're saying, hell yeah.
I can be whoever I want to be, but isn't it more beautiful when we're whoever we want to be together? And when we find people who look like us and sound like us and who fight like us and work towards a world that works better for all of us. And that doesn't mean that we're all the same. We're, we don't believe in sameness. It's not that we're all the same color. No, it's we're beautiful because of our many colors. We're looking at a world that needs to be so much damn better because we're seeing how many people it's hurting. And we're saying, where can we, you know, try to get us closer to solution because we need them.